Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video on Apache Scoop. Today I'll be talking about the Hive import, that how we can import the data from the RDBMS to the Hive via Scoop. This is one of the very important topics, so that's why I have decided to make one separate video on it. Today I'll be uh, talking about what are the different steps uh, like uh, which uh, you need to do it uh, in order to get your data imported from the MySQL to the Hive. Okay. So like as you can see on the screen like I have written that what should you should have in your system for this little practical uh, you need to have MySQL right then you, you should be having Hive installed in your system then you need to be have one more thing availability of Hive jar. Let me discuss uh, like um, this point now because this is important because otherwise you will be getting error right there are a lot of errors involved uh, that if you don't have this jar available in your system so let me show you what kind of which jar i'm talking about the jar is this one hive common this you need to download from the internet if you don't have uh, because uh, thus by default scoop doesn't have uh, this jar uh, inbuilt so you need to uh, download from the internet and to place under the lib folder of the scoop uh, then you can start this otherwise maybe you will be getting some errors to in order to uh, resolve all the errors you need to be having this um, jar file in prior right so let me uh, now talk about how we can import this stuff right so uh, you can see this is the syntax we need to follow for this for this we have a scoop import connect jdbc string uh, e1 is my database name okay which i uh, have taken in all my videos and then username is amrit uh, p stand for password bind directory where uh, the scoop or the system can find the all i all the uh, lib files li library like jar files okay i need to give the location then uh, i want to import data of the table cust this is one table cust which is available under the database even then we need to call this keyword which is hive import as we are importing data from our dbms to hive so we need to use this keyword then we need to specify create hive table right this, this will create a new table in your hive uh, but the data will be from this table cust right so create hive table then we need to specify the uh, uh, database of that uh, hive table so database by default you all know that hive uh, works under the default database so we need to specify under which database this table should be created it's your wish because uh, like i'm going with the default option you can also have other option as well if you have a multiple databases created already in the hive so the table name will be Mr. Singh uh, like in my case so you can have any table name with the hive table uh, argument and last is we are specifying the sequential import that's the reason I'm using m1 means number of members 1 these are, num these are the nothing but the syntax to uh, do it right so let me first show you that uh, this table is available cust so we need to first go to the mysql and let me show you that uh, this table is available sorry for this mysql okay so the table is use e1 is my database and uh, let me show you that uh, table which i use in other video as well which is cust okay this is available right i need to now import this table to the hive okay with the name mr singh under database default this table is available under e1 in the mysql but this table data will be imported to the hive under the uh, database default and the table mr singh for this we need to just uh, run the command now i hope you must have got this thing right so okay let me now go to the terminal and let me run this command okay so i have already written the thing here let me change to table name as mr singh rest everything is same i guess scoop import uh, connect uh, e1 username amrit p bind directory table cust hive import create hive table hive database default hive table this okay fine press enter now supply the password one two three wait for a while okay you can now see that you will be now getting some message from hive as well that uh, regarding the importing you can see the hive session id being created for you right it is waiting for the hive importing it will take a little time just wait for a while you can see now hive import complete this indicates that uh, we have successfully imported the data in the hive so how to check now that whether uh, we are having hive available uh, we having we are having this table under hive or not for this open up your hive with the hive keyword 
okay it is now opening up you can see now loading data to table default dot mr sing default is my database dot mr sing is my tables okay let me now use default as my database okay and show tables under show tables i must be getting mr sing okay mr sing is available so let me verify that the data is the same what we have in the mysql or not just to end this video okay so now check with this um, in one in one case i'm having mysql in one case i'm having hive you can see everything is same so it's it's now uh, verify that uh, it is successfully imported i hope uh, you must have understood this concept and i hope you must have noted down the steps for this so i'm again stressing on this point this should be there right because uh, there are very little help available on the internet as well regarding this error so i hope uh, now you must have noted down and you'll not be experiencing this error and if you case if in case you have any doubt please you can ask me in the comments and thanks for watching this video and see you next video